Oh my gosh, guys, it is already spring and I have not finished harvesting the last bits of my winter garden. Now, it has been neglected for months, as you already know, so let's see if any of it is actually salvageable. Strawberry bed's not looking too bad. We have gotten quite a decent little harvest this year. We don't have enough plants for jam or anything, so we're just fresh eating at this stage. We're done with the Mizuna. I don't like it. I've tried a couple of recipes. It is doing really well. Okay, some of it's starting to bolt, but we just decided it wasn't for us. Um, the daikon, I think, if it's salvageable, great. Otherwise, I'm not really too sure. They've gotten massive, and they're only supposed to be mini. Sadly, my brassica bed, while it didn't get eaten, I think having that net over for so long has kind of stunted the growth a little bit so nothing really grew the leaves are great and i guess we could have some of the leaves in a stir fry but as far as the actual um cauliflower and broccoli i mean it looks great from here but we don't have any heads as such we've got a couple of beetroots left they may be a bit too big and beyond coupled with some weeds and then all my onions which as you can tell have already started to go to flower so yikes very very behind we've got lots of carrots to harvest the chinese cabbage which i think was our one buck i left these for the bees so you can just see the little native bees collecting some pollen I've already harvested one of the cabbages and I've got two to go. We will harvest today because they're actually getting quite big and starting to get a bit eaten. But otherwise I'm really chuffed. This is the first time I've ever had cabbages. There is one more thing that I want to aim for and that is to pick all of our sweet potatoes as best as I can. Not pick, sorry, <laughs> dig out all of our sweet potatoes. So I'm not really sure what to expect when we do get into this bed given that we haven't kept up with the watering as well as we should have. So I'm going to go and grab my hat and gloves and then let's start harvesting. I think I'm going to start with the radish and the maizuna because that's all that's in this bed and then at least we can get this bed cleared out completely. So they've grown way bigger than they should have so it'll be actually quite interesting to see what they'll taste like <laughs> tell me what you think that looks like oh goodness me we may have to pickle these oh no this is just ridiculous this is so heavy. Gosh, look at it. I'll come back later and clean this bed up a bit. But at least I've got one bed to work with. That's all the Mizuno. It feels like such a waste, but I will feed the worms and compost. And yeah, not a bad harvest. Let's just hope with the pickling that these will still be edible. size actually I just obviously need to give it a good wash but pretty happy with that it's pretty heavy too another really heavy one once I can get them inside, I'll give them a good clean up, chop the ends off, check for any more slugs. I'm going to leave the one buck for a few more days. The native bees are really enjoying it and we don't really have too much for them to eat. So 
I may as well. I just found the cabbage tag still in the bed and this is what I had planted. So it just says cabbage mini. We've eaten one already and it was really delicious. <laughs> A little stumpy one. Not so little though. Oh, they smell amazing guys. Oh, wow. That one's almost perfectly straight. Huge. So you can see I've left some in for just that little bit too long. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That is massive. Whoa. I'm almost curious to see what that will taste like. I mean, that is just huge. Definitely let them go too long. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of carrots. <laughs> and we still got that whole bed to go. Alright. This is the bed where I have got sort of like your rainbow carrots. So there's a nice white one. Also really, really big carrots. It has been a great year for carrots. Oh my word. We definitely have more carrots than we will know what to do with, but I do believe if you keep them in a airtight container or Ziploc bag of some sort, it will keep in the fridge for quite a while. I will be definitely doing that. And then as well as gifting some to colleagues and neighbors. So, wow. And of course, carrot cake. All right, let's see what we're gonna get out of these onions. They were overgrown, they've been left for too long. Plus I don't think they're going to store very well because I haven't really formed that nice papery layer. My plan with these is to chop them up in different ways and see if I can't freeze them. They smell incredible though. Oh, I think I just pulled out a leak by accident. happened is they've all split off and made sort of like a second bulb which is I believe not really good um, and not good for storing. So the one that we had already eaten that came from a split bulb was absolutely delicious. It kept well in the fridge as well so I'm not really concerned it's just they're not going to be good for long-term storage so lots of processing ahead of me. <laughs> it's all good though as long as we can salvage some of this harvest I'll be so happy. Look at the size of this and it's intact. It's only one bulb. That's incredible. Oh, another beautiful intact one. Massive. This one's a bit interesting, it's massive and it looks like it was starting to form some split off bulbs so I'll have to just carefully take off this outer layer because as I said it's not really papery anymore, it's, it's very wet actually. I'm not really sure what this one is again. It's not bulbing like the rest. Maybe it was a spring onion. Not entirely, not entirely sure. Way overgrown. 
that's okay we can pickle them which is quite honestly why I grew them in the first place got some really really young ones I'm just going to get rid of them anyway all right so what is that four decent sized beetroot not too bad call this an absolute success guys even though I can't store the onions long term and do have to go to plan B which is not quite ideal and that's chop up and freeze I have still got stacks and stacks of onions this is the first time I have ever successfully grown onions, leek, beetroot, cabbage, even the carrots really. I've grown a few in the past but not this volume. So I'm really proud and so chuffed. Spencer, when you walk past you could smell onions from like the other side of the garden just about. So they're really potent. I'm going to get everything washed up and then I'll see you guys in a minute. I have also been really into making my own bread at the moment and I treated myself to a little bread machine. Now today's loaf is just a plain white, um, I have made the smallest loaf on purpose because I just didn't feel like too much bread but really felt like a nice peanut butter and jam sandwich. The crust on these breads is just phenomenal, so they're, they're dainty. We get about five sandwiches out of them, which is plenty for the two of us, as this type of bread doesn't really last beyond two days. I don't find it as fresh, but what I have been doing is just freezing my pre-made sandwiches, like ham and cheese, for the week. But, oh, delicious. So it's been four hours. We'll let this rest now for a good hour before I'll even cut into it, but that will be lunch today. So there you have it. That is everything I managed to harvest today. So I've got to go ahead and bag all of this up and process the onions and I think I'll leave the sweet potatoes for tomorrow. All right guys, so it is the next day. It's very hot already, but I am going to try and dig around in the sweet potato bed and just see if there's any sweet potatoes that are salvageable. Um, we've eaten a few from this bed. They were a bit cracked and a little eaten from sort of curl grubs, I think they're called, but we'll just have a look and see if there's anything we can harvest today. You can see the vines are already trying to grow out of the grass. So hopefully we will have some sweet potatoes. This is our first time growing them in the bed directly as opposed to a raised bed. So it should be quite interesting. That's not a bad one. That's pretty good. It's very intact. It is small, but that's that's a good one. It did come off this one, which as you can see has split. So um we won't eat that one, but hopefully we'll get a few more of these. I'll be really chuffed if we do. I'm gonna be quite rough in this bed because we do actually just want all of this out. Um, so yeah, don't, don't, don't harvest this way, please. They're a teeny tiny little one. very little but not bad and when I say not bad it's not eaten by any of the grubs it hasn't split yet due to inconsistent watering so I'm actually quite happy with it even though it's tiny okay so definitely feeling a bit concerned that I've only got about three I'm hoping they're all under the ground because they've been in here for ages That's a pretty decent sized one and I'm just hoping just like that if I dig around a little I'll find some more <sighs> odd shape but pretty good there you can see it's been eaten just a tiny bit but not too bad like we can definitely work with that okay so I've removed all the vines 
um, even know how much work I've still got to do in this bed as in just clear up weeds and overgrown grass. That's what we've gotten so far. I'm pretty sure if I keep digging, well, I'm hoping anyway, that I'll find some more. But what I wanted to say was that these slips that I planted were actually ones that I grew myself for my very first harvest. So I'm pretty chuffed to even just get one potato to be quite honest because it's, the cycle just continues. But let's dig around and see if I can get any more. is a beautiful sized one. Wow. I'm actually really impressed because I've honestly neglected this bed. Oh, so you can see I've accidentally chopped one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, another one. Okay, I do think that's probably almost all of it. I'm not convinced it's everything because occasionally I have been chopping some by accident the deeper in I go. And I have heard that when you plant in directly in ground, that can be a problem that they kind of go deep and spread. Let me know what you guys experience. Um, as you can tell here, I thought I was done and then I've managed to dig up another little one. So, that's what I've gotten so far. Oh, here's the one I was looking for where I accidentally chopped it. So they definitely, I think, are in there. They might just be a little deep. Look, not a great harvest, but as I said, I'm really just glad to get something. The first little harvest I got from here, they were much bigger. They were split though. We did use quite a few of them. Um, so this isn't the first harvest from this bed. But it's probably going to be the last, to be honest. And if I've missed a few, I'm not worried because what will happen is they'll just re-sprout and we'll get some more, which is always a bonus. <laughs> 